A lot of what we described was just our, our complete and total lack of coordination across departments, uh, across people. Um, the, we, had, we had sort of developed with some departments a, a very um, us versus them mentality, uh, not a lot of accountability. Uh, and it was just a, just a perfect storm of terror here. It was just nothing went well. It, it was nothing but reprints, redos, um, doing everything multiple times whole lot of overtime to do that and then all the jobs that got pushed because you were redoing things two and three times it, everything was we were calling them and they were late or we weren't even calling them to tell them it was late and they would just show up and it's not ready or we have people not showing up for installations and we just looked really 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 not good at what we do i was trying to figure out what can i do to get out of here because i don't think they will ever fix the problems that they have and that was that was where i was completely bottomed out, total sense of hopelessness. So you came into the process discouraged, <laughs> yes. basically hopeless. Yes. So tell us a little of your experience through, well, the, whole, through the whole process. Um, so yes, when I sat down in uh, my initial meeting with you, uh, I came in not to be rude about it or anything, mm -hmm. was totally willing to hear what you had to say, but when I walked in the door, my skepticism was just way up there and so that was my mentality coming into that meeting so <laughs> did it stay no and <laughs> the, the thing was is that is all along I, I you know I, I always was of the belief that one of our biggest problems was people just not directly dealing with each other in a constructive way to solve problems it was always talking about that person when they're not there and talk about what they're doing wrong. I think what I came out of that initial meeting feeling like was, okay, well, if this is something that is going to get people to communicate directly and not make it so personal and more about processes and things like that and fixing those uh, can, you know, constructively and collectively, then I, I was thinking this if everybody does this, this will work great. <laughs> so after the retreat, what mm -hmm. did things look like? What we did was we came back and we started practicing what we had learned over the weekend. I think that the, the, the decrease in triangulation and um, discontent across people and departments has been staggeringly I mean, just blow your mind improved. And, and it's that self-awareness that that's what I really thought was impossible. I really thought that was impossible. And, and, it's, and it's pretty wild now watching how every little meeting that we have or interaction that we have, there's this way higher level of universal respect for one another, uh, even if we don't always have the same exact opinion of what we think the solution is but the way that we're sort of working our way through a lot of those you know differences of opinion or I'm kind of thinking this is the way we should do that but it's just so much more peaceful <laughs> that's a big word peaceful things seem a lot more peaceful here um, has it had financial or client satisfaction impact uh, yeah uh, it you know it it you would think that that would be something, you know, in the short term that would be hard to quantify. Uh, not only have we improved our achieving of deadlines, um, we've also been looking at the numbers, the waste numbers over the last two months. And they went from just hit you in the gut terrible numbers <laughs> when we started. Uh, and literally, I just got an email from the guy that, that does all this calculating, uh, who's, who's out of town, but he, he had sent an email out before he left town and said, our numbers for this week show that we had zero this last week. And yeah, I was, I was blown away because we've already been having our weekly meetings and talking about waste reduction and all that. It was our big goal and we're seeing it. I mean, we're seeing the numbers come down and I think you know, the owners are ecstatic about that. We're all ecstatic about it. And probably the people that aren't having to work as long hours to get it all done 
because they're not having to do it twice, I think they're probably pretty happy about it as well. And I, 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 I'm pretty sure that if you asked anybody here, even people that were really, really, really doldrums about everything prior to all this, I think everyone would say that they're, they've seen improvement in waste reduction and improved productivity and accountability and communication. I mean, those are all key things. And they're all, they all seem to be humming really well right now. You're so, no longer disengaged. No, no. I came back from the retreat completely guns blazing, ready to go. Let's do this. And, and I, think, I think going back to the, the cheerleader thing, I think because so many people had seen that I had kind of checked out, I think when they knew what my mental state was prior to the process and knew how much I just said, you know what, I'm done. And then I came back and was fighting for it all again and energized about it. I think other people thought, okay, this might be something that we should take seriously. Uh, and I think it's helped align people towards this sort of common um, goal at the end, this, this what we're reaching for, which is fixing all these things that were problematic and knocking everybody's morale down. And so I, I think what I see really is people being hopeful again. Kudos to you. Yeah, well, thanks. All right. I can't thank you enough. <laughs>